Well, an Australian dad has been praised by people across the globe after sharing his touching video on TikTok. Well, the clip has been viewed over 17 million times and the Melbourne dad behind it, Scott Stewart, joins us now. Good morning to you, Scott. Um, Hi, like how are Scott, you? Scott, I'm really well, but hats off to you. I mean, if any parent out there, I'm sure, will agree with me that anything your kids want to do, you just do for them. But this is an extra stretch for you, dressing up as Elsa with your son, um, Colin, to go to the movies. What was the moment that you thought, I've just got to do this? Yeah, so my son's been in love with Elsa since he was three years old, you know, and leading up to Frozen 2, um, going to the cinema, he was really wanting to dress up as Elsa, but as we got closer, he was starting to worry that people might laugh at him. And, you know, my wife and I were talking and we felt that, like, in a moment like that, we can either teach him to run away from who he is and what he loves to try and please other people, or we can teach him to have the courage to be himself. So we chose that option and to support him, both my wife and myself dressed up as Elsa too. Yeah, I love it. How many times, just of interest, have you seen Frozen, the original? <laughs> Uh, yeah, many, many times. In fact, Frozen 2 we've seen, I think it was five times at the cinema as well. So. <laughs> OK. So what was the reaction from your son when he saw you dressed up as Elsa? Oh, he absolutely loved it, obviously. I mean, so much that two days later we were back at the cinema, you know. But I think the, the best part was at the cinema, everyone from the people at the candy bar to other families there were just so accepting and so kind. You know, I was so grateful because it really reinforced to Colin that, you know, having the courage to be yourself is really something to be celebrated. I, I've got to say, Colin, you, you make a very good Elsa. You look great. You look great. Uh, your video, <laughs> he looks great. Yeah, you look great. He looks great. Your video has gone viral. What comments are you getting from people all over the world? Yeah, the comments have been overwhelmingly positive. Uh, so many families have reached out to me saying that, you know, they want to allow their kids to be true to themselves but have been stuck in this cycle of fear or worry about what other people would think. And, you know, seeing someone being themselves completely and being celebrated on such a great scale is really giving them permission to allow their kids to be themselves too. So it's been absolutely wonderful. Well, you've put all of this wisdom into a children's book. Uh, I believe it's coming out. It's called My Shadow is Pink, which aims to change the conversation surrounding gender stereotypes. Can you tell us a bit about the book? Yeah, thank you. Absolutely. So it's a book about... A bo I have a copy here. Um, it's yeah. about a boy who has a pink shadow that likes princesses, fairies and things, you know, traditionally not for boys. Uh, but he wishes he had a blue shadow like everyone else in his family. He learns that, you know, everyone has a shadow at times, you know, they wish for something else. And it's really a story about daring to be different, having the courage to be yourself. Uh, it's coming out bookstores everywhere through Larrikin House on the 1st of August. And you can pre-order online at myshadowispink.com. Well, congratulations on the book. It is a great message. You know what? Not only for children, but for, you know, big and small people. So um, thanks very much. And I uh, hope you get Thank to you go so to Frozen much. again. Frozen 2 at the <laughs> cinema. Who knows? It might be your 10th I'm, time. <laughs> I, I think the musical is coming up, so we'll probably be there. You'll be front row. Thank you very much. Thanks. Take care.